Good morning, guys. Day 28. We'll let you hop on this scale, see how, how much I weigh. Uh, feeling good. Uh, no complaints. Focus, driven, amped up for the future. Just ready to get it, man. So let's see how much I weigh. Y'all see that? 175. All right, go back up to that. <laughs> hey, it's going to do the do, man. So uh, only thing I could do to lose weight at this point is just scale back on eating watermelon. But hey, man, that muscle don't want to go. That's a good thing. So we're going to hit the gym and get to it. Now I'm about to stretch out my back and get this uh, stretching on this machine. Let's go. Oh, my back sore from the muscle is just that. It's crazy, bro, how I do back with weights. But it's nothing like doing calisthenics. So this has a heel. I had a pain shoot down my hip to my lower back and to my glute for two years, man. And the reason being, I started sleeping on the couch because I was scared to sleep in my bed after the health scan. Uh, here we go, we're gonna do our big set. Shoulders, sides, front, uh, semi-sides, then uh, rears. You can tell my body a little tired from yesterday, calisthenics. Ah. Y'all got to do though. That was a joke. 175 this morning. I'm shredded to death. People act like being that big was sustainable. That I was. I knew it when I was, it wasn't. It's like people want you to die a small Be a small corpse. I'm doing what God told me. The love of my wife and kids. I could have stayed swollen with juice. I stayed on TRT, what, about a year and a half after uh, the heart attack? And God told me to cut that out. For those of y'all that's viewing, never do what you're doing to impress men. You need to be following God's commandments. When we get caught up in demonic lifestyle, we tend to forget what we on this earth for. Ooh, they burnt already. Pump, not burnt. <laughs> oh yeah, they burn. <laughs> My favorite one arm extension. Still got a little something, baby. It's funny though because when I was all pumped up, juiced up. Everybody was talking crap then. Trim up, same thing. <laughs> Let me just tell everybody out there, impress yourself, man. Do what you love to do. Don't listen to all the chatter, man. If I would listen to the chatter, I'd still be juiced up and die. I'm great, my wife love it. My kids be on my muscles. So hey, just because I was something, like I was a criminal, changed my life. Like people, who, what, you gonna hold that against me? You got uh, ex-crackheads, heroin addicts, meth heads. Y'all cheer them on when they change their life. I was a drug addict and changed my life. It's on steroids, it was a addiction, right? Like all these other guys, they can't imagine not being on juice. I was one of them, I know. So I'm just telling y'all from experience, but for some reason, people just can't accept it when I say it. But, you know, I call people every day, and these guys I'm calling be having heart attacks at 40, saying they wish they would have listened. I know y'all not used to that old school 1970 delivery. You want to be patted on your back and by, oh, it's okay. I know you're going through mental health and depression. Uh, we're going to sit down and take you to a psychiatrist. Nah, tell this motherfucker.
real how it is. So the reason I'm up here waiting had some watermelon seeds and it got salt on it, man. Um, so anytime my body gets salt, boom, and that's everybody. I guarantee for all the fitness people out there, bodybuilders, you get all sodium. You know, if you do bodybuilding shows, you know. You get all sodium, you get shredded as ever. Mm -hmm. You get cut, shredded. Ugh. Little cut, little cut. Tricep press down. What hung around was uh, calves, and I would have to say shoulders. Biceps too, that was always my gift. But I look back at my pictures and videos, cause I was doing triceps every day, and it showed the most massive. I had to work on that. I look at videos, I thought my legs were small. I look back like, geez. It was huge, but when you're in it, you don't think like that. The judges tell you, oh, you need more outer sweep or more tricep, more chest, so you working for them. I'm a judge somebody and he don't look the part. They need to get Flex Wheeler and all the old school bodybuilders to be judges. I'm like, where did I get to be all buff and muscle? What happened was, High school football, they didn't let me play it down because they said I was too small. So for me, I vowed that I would get big. So we're done with the workout, about to go home, chill with the kiddos, take them somewhere today. I get some footage of that. Uh, feeling good. Happy to be alive, guys. That's the key, man. To surround yourself around some good people and uh, live life to the fullest, man. Because we don't know when it'll be over with. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, stay happy, stay positive. Don't let stuff get you down. F depression. And we got to get it, baby. If anybody need my help, go to KaliMuscle.com. Sign up. I'll help you get healthy and wealthy, man. So here we go. We're going to put... Uh, yeah, go to my TikTok shop and get this uh, scale. Pull it up on here. V-Sync. Let's see. Chef Colleen. Breakfast. Watermelon, so very good. So 282 calories, protein 7%. So they got all the stats. <clears throat> so you figure I'm eating this amount, five grams of protein. Maybe. So here we go guys, about to eat in the backyard. Beautiful Sunday. I'll take the kids somewhere. Kylie Muscle the second. <laughs> I see you. You wanna get in there too? I see you. What you wanna tell the people? Hmm? <laughs> Dad, looking funny, Dad. Daddy, look. Good melon right there, boy. What's up with it, guys? About to cut this watermelon. This will last me about a day and a half. So, this is from, uh, oh, this is actually from Farmer's Market I went to the other day. That y'all seen in the video. $20 for this, bro. And it don't look worth it. Yeah, so let me show y'all my mouth. I'm pissed, bro. I ain't buying another watermelon from the farmer. Let me take this, see. It's good. And it worth no $22. 
You know that thick skin. All the other ones don't have thick skin like that. I'll show you my method of cutting. So I eat before 6 p.m. because I don't want to be up all night urinating, which I still get up at least once, mostly twice a night. This ain't hardly no watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh my God. What you call it? Yosemite Fresh is the best. Watermelon. Juicy. It's only $8. I actually paid Farmer's Market. They be ripping. Oh, and where the seeds at? It's only a few seeds. Oh, there go. Wait, bro. Bam. Guys, day 29, feeling good. I wouldn't say I had a lot of watermelon yesterday, but the norm, you know, we're gonna see how much I weigh. We don't know. I'm looking, I'm not looking soaked up. Let's go. I don't know how that's possible. <laughs> With the watermelon got me gaining weight now. Ooh, this is a case study right here, baby. About to go to the gym, hit these legs. We about to get to it. Let's go. Gym time, muscle, and it's time to get swole. Got four uh, podcasts set up. 29 days, boy. I'm up to 175 a day. Because my back, bro. I'm like, it don't make sense how sore I am. We do back twice a week. Yeah. Nothing like them pull-ups. You're, you're sore, too? I felt yesterday. And now even my head is like swimming. So I don't know what it's from. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, did a muff tap into the center's nervous system? I don't know. Well, it's possible. Cause remember last time I did bustle up, oh, yeah. Venice Beach on watermelon? I tapped into it. Yeah. And I mean, I felt good at the park. Everything was easy, yeah. but uh, calisthenics, man, it's nothing like it. That's why those gymnasts be so buff and rip man i'm so sore right now it's ridiculous oh and it don't make sense we do pull ups we do an intense back workout twice a week it's wild it just goes it lets you know man them calisthenics is nothing to pl be played with but yeah i feel good uh like i say i'm up in weight i think my body just in the shock mode where it's holding on to water kind of want to go 40. Uh, I might do a water fast in between. I don't know. Tomorrow I might do a water fast because I'll be traveling because I know they ain't got nothing at no airports, but I don't know. Them kids might take a lot of energy out of me. I might have to eat some watermelon. Feeling weird today. A little light hit. It started yesterday. Uh, yesterday afternoon, I started feeling a little off and, uh, I need to start doing the sugar test thing when I, after I eat the watermelon and see if it's spiked. Cause I did eat quite a bit of watermelon yesterday. So yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start bagging up. I'm gonna start bagging up off eating watermelon. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat half of what I've been eating. See how that go. Cause 40 days, 40 nights, sound good, baby. So we got light legs today, nothing strenuous, and we go breeze through it, man. This leg pump, man, on these paraplegic, they say it look like I got paraplegic legs, man. <laughs> hey. But, you know, I don't like flexing, showing y'all the whole, cause man, it's just too much for the internet. It is too much for the internet, bro. Oh, yeah. You know, that's like that muscle up video y'all see that's viral. Every time I do a muscle up video, man, it just, every video I'm a different size, different strength, different in look. It's just, how can I just come out with a video? See that, y'all gotta, you gotta get it out your system. Anything Kali does turns to gold. You know that song, everything I touch, Turn to go. Just, you gotta let it be, man. 
like I used to say, if you're mad at me, you're mad at God. God made me like this. I didn't come out the womb knowing I was going to be black, handsome, jacked, and smart. I didn't know that. I could have been in the bush with the Africans out there eating honey all day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We don't have a choice where we're where we land at. You know what I mean? That's like an alien just falling, free falling to the earth. You don't know where you're going to be. You're going to be in Czechoslovakia, China, Australia, the U.S., best country that is. Well, you don't know, man. So don't be mad at me. I'm just a spirit in this shell of a body, all right? Y'all don't be happy. Y'all don't need to get a BBL, man. Just do some kickbacks, bro. Just do some butt blasters, man. You ain't got to do the BBL. Y'all risking your life for just, all it takes 90 days to get a nice buttocks. Do these every day for 90 days. What's up with it, guys? Day 30, and today will be a busy day. I might, uh just drive fast most of the day um, because I do have to travel going to uh, Florida. So yeah, man, going with the kids, first time the kids go be uh, on the plane. So I'm excited to see how they go be because uh, they super excited. So yeah, man, about to get on the scale, pack up and head out to the airport. So I'll be getting a lot of footage, man. Not a new material for you guys, all right? Keep going up. Ate a lot of watermelon yesterday. I guess that's the reason, but we'll lose a lot today. Probably about three pounds today. So one thing is odd, bro. <laughs> but like I said, I ate like that whole watermelon yesterday. So yeah, I didn't even drink none. I just ate, which I feel better eating it. So man, uh, See y'all at the airport. Look at that, they got watermelon over there. Cheers. What's up with the guys on my way to Florida with the fam. Got my daughter, wife, Sonny boy over there, Kylie Muscle the second. Yeah, so we uh on our way to <laughs> John Wayne Airport. Mama, Feeling that. good, looking good. Mama, Ready to go. Blow up the unruggables. Kali, where y'all going? I'm going to the airplane. We're going. Where you, Kali? We're coming. We're coming. Where y'all going? The airplane. You going on the airplane? First time? Okay. Super excited. Going on the plane for the first time. This go go down in history, man. It's awesome for them to be able to see uh, what they're doing at four years old. What's up? We going down to the plane. Say hi, bro. Say hi, Kali. Kali. Say hi. Kali. Say what's up. First time on the plane. Yeah. You you excited? You happy? Bro. First time on the plane. Yeah, you happy? The house. Daddy, you happy? Daddy.
over the guys at this airport, man, and I am starving. All this, uh, all this ripping and running, these kids, the wild, wild, bro. If you got four-year-olds, twins, singles are easy. Kudos to you, man. It's tough. It just, they, you know, got delayed some and waiting in the airport two extra hours and it's just wild man so uh yeah what it's like they wired or something it gets delirium the new drug delirium <laughs> so yeah man uh just starving man i ain't gonna lie to y'all first day not eating is always uh the toughest but usually after the second day, you're good to go. But it just, I'm exerting a lot of energy and carrying bags and, you know, got all these bags and it's just wild, bro. So yeah, day 30, tough, man. Uh, I had some watermelon this morning, I showed y'all, and that's it. About to hop on another plane. I'm in Dallas right now. And uh, yeah, y'all can see behind me at the airport. Waiting on the plane over there. So man, I'll be glad when I get there. I'm delayed about an hour and a half, close to two hours. And it is 1.34 a.m. Been like a 13, 14 hour day, man. Kali, how you feel? What's up with it, guys? 3 a.m. Just made it to the Airbnb. My man's hating, got me some watermelon. So it's gonna be my first time eating. Nice little kitchen. Got this nice little kitchen. Got them seeded watermelons. Dining room. So there it is, man. Been like a 15 hour trip. Eat a little watermelon, call it the night, man. First time the kids rode the plane, they did good. So now it's time for the business. This is a weird taste of watermelon, I tell you that. Weird taste of watermelon. Yeah. But I gotta eat it. I haven't ate it all day. Well, it's another day now. That's it, y'all.